Good morning friends, I am Suyash, I am from India and I have been helping some of you meditate and apply the law of attraction since last few months and today we are going to talk about how can we become more intelligent, how can we increase how intelligent we are through meditation and through the law of attraction. Uh, first of all, uh, before we begin, let's understand what intelligence is or not necessarily what intelligence is but what exactly do we mean by intelligence when we think about it. Well, intelligence is basically that when we have to make a decision, when we are given with uh, or when we are given two or more options, we should be able to choose one option effectively. Uh, also when something new is being explained to us, we should be able to understand it quickly in uh, as less attempts as possible. I think that uh, is where intelligence comes into play. Also when there is something that we already know but we have to recall it and we should be able to recall it accurately and quickly that again is another measure of intelligence. So these are some of the things that we require intelligence for. We have already discussed in uh, earlier videos that there are two parts of the mind. One is the conscious mind and the other is the subconscious mind. And actually both of these aspects of the mind come into play when we talk about intelligence. Has it ever happened to you? In fact, uh, this happened just yesterday. I was talking to a business associate and we were talking about uh, a certain flowchart that we had made of different activities that will be undertaken in the business and so I actually mailed him that uh, you know this methodology plus the law of large numbers will equal success and uh, suddenly it came to mind that maybe the, uh, what I wrote was not correct because I should have written that the methodology plus the law in play would equal success because that would be the correct uh, variables or consistency in terms of the types of variables that I'd be using in that particular communication. But then I thought about it and I realized that I was right in the first place because uh, methodology would be the activities, the law of large numbers would be the people with whom that methodology would need to be applied and that would result in success. So basically what I'm trying to say, even if you didn't understand because I haven't given you any uh, uh, background about my business so that's okay but what I'm trying to say is that often what happens is uh, that our subconscious mind gives us the answer effortlessly and in a split second but then we start doubting it and then we think about it and then we get sometimes confused in it but then finally when we are able to relax our mind and we think about it we realize that the answer that we had got in just a split second was accurate and that is the answer that we were not able to get after 5 minutes and 10 minutes of thinking with our conscious mind. So intelligence has got to do a lot with subconscious mind and a little with conscious mind. Because what happens is that uh, again as I said there are two aspects of the mind similarly there are two aspects to intelligence and actually intelligence is one of the factors that actually make up the entire concept of what we know as intelligence. What is the other factor? The other factor is the chaos, the clutter that is going on in our minds, the distraction. Because when we think about it, something with absolute focus, we are able to understand those things quickly and it has happened to most of us. When we start reading a book, we keep getting distracted but after 10-15 minutes, once we have focused our mind into that book, we are able to understand it. It happens with students all the time. They have examinations and in the first couple of examinations they are not able to study. They get this, they keep getting distracted. They, are, they have to put in a lot of effort in, in order to memorize something. But as they progress through their exams, say there are 10 days of examinations, 7th or 8th day they realize and uh, you know they talk among themselves that you know what I just read that once and now I remember it because their mind has become so accustomed to it and their mind has become so focused to study through practice that in a sense their intelligence has improved, right? So it's not just about how intelligent you are born, but also about how less clutter you have. And to illustrate, let's, uh, this is just an illustration. Let's say we can measure intelligence and let's say we can measure the chaos, the distraction and the clutter in the mind. So let's say a person is born with 100 units of intelligence, but he has 50 units of clutter. So the effective intelligence, the net intelligence that that person lives his life with is 50 units of intelligence. On the other hand, there is another person, he is born with just 70 units of intelligence. So he is less intelligent than the first person, but he has only 10 units of clutter. So effectively he has 60 units of intelligence. So even though he was born with less intelligence than that first person, 
he lives his life as a more intelligent person than that person than the first person right so we have to understand these two things and what happens is that we can alter the clutter very easily whereas altering the intelligence that we are born with takes a lot of time but that's the good news because one of the factors and one of the major factors that play a role in our intelligence is something that we can easily affect so now we realize that all we have to do to increase our intelligence is to reduce or potentially remove this clutter that is there in our mind uh, we have to understand that that split second answer that came to my mind and that comes to all of our uh, minds that comes from the subconscious mind whereas this uh, this clutter this chaos all these distractions they emerge from the conscious mind so basically what we have to do in order to remove this clutter is to exercise our subconscious mind more and how do we do that uh, subconscious mind is like a muscle you know when you exercise a certain muscle more it becomes more and more powerful so you have to become habitual of using your subconscious mind while in a while in an awake state of course we use the subconscious mind all the time when we are in a meditative state or when you when we are in a close to sleep state but we have to habituate our mind to also tap into the subconscious mind when we are awake uh, so how do you do that you do that with practice and uh, there are two ways to do this uh, and there will again this is a video about two aspects so again to do this also there are two aspects one is meditation and the other is the law of attraction mm -hmm. the law of attraction is the same for everything you have to intend that you want to reduce the clutter and you want to become more intelligent you have to visualize that you are able to decide things faster you are able to understand things faster you are you are able to have these intelligent and uh, um, intuitive conversations with people uh, and you have to feel grateful for the presence of mind that you already have and uh, you also have to be grateful for the presence of mind that you will be attracting in the future uh, so this is how you apply the law of attraction for this uh, basically what I want to tell you what to do in terms of meditation in order to uh, have this achieve this uh, re reduction in clutter and increase increment in uh, intelligence so the first thing is to go for uh, the theta meditation because what theta meditation does is it taps into your subconscious mind as simple as that you know and uh, theta meditation you can do the theta meditation for certain outcome that is you can go into theta and visualize but you can also just go into theta and enjoy the process of meditation so i have already i already have a video so please go through that video and go into theta again and again go into theta at least once every day and you can either go into theta and visualize you can go into theta and affirm i have a video about all the things that you should do in order to uh, you know attract things through the law of attraction by going into the theta state but if you don't if you don't just don't want any of this you simply are interested in meditating then go into theta and meditate have fun observe you can observe your breathing you can observe your thoughts you can do anything just go into theta and be in the practice of going into theta be in the practice of being in theta because that will quieten your conscious mind that will quieten your uh, this clutter and the distraction this nagging thought that is there all the time unwanted thoughts you know just remove or, or reduce all of that that will not get completely removed at least in my experience it has not happened but at least reduce it to such an extent that your thought is focused on what you want to think about and the other thing is the cleaning meditation i have already made a video about it i don't know how many of you are uh, actually doing it three people in total only three people uh, gave me feedback about the meditation and they all say that they're enjoying it and they're feeling happier as a result of doing it uh, i want you to do it because uh, by the way just yesterday i received a message from one person and uh, he thought that i meant by that video in that video that you have to do it only for 30 days no you have to do it for 30 days in order to just realize how beautiful it is in order to realize what kind of changes it brings about in your life uh, but I recommend that you do the cleaning meditation every day forever because that is a wonderful meditation and just giving 20-25 minutes of your time every evening will bring about all these benefits and I'll be in fact mentioning that cleaning meditation in several of my videos so you will realize that uh, when I made the cleaning meditation video I didn't mention intelligence but in the intelligence video I'm mentioning the cleaning meditation so there are infinite benefits of that meditation I highly recommend that you do it uh, so in terms of back to this video in terms of uh, increasing your intelligence the first as I said is uh, going into theta 
exercising your subconscious mind and the second is cleaning meditation because what cleaning meditation does it removes the clutter I have already taught the network of previous thought the network of previous thoughts because when I start reading a book all of a sudden somehow I don't know my thought goes back to something absolutely insignificant and unrelated to the book right I don't want that to happen I want my thoughts to be focused there so it is because of the negative thoughts and the network of sorry it is because of the negative uh, network of previous thoughts that my thought keep getting just you know here and there my thoughts have a life of their own I don't want that so so in that negative uh, thoughts and those and that network of previous thoughts is removed my focus can be set on the task at hand so these are the two things that you should do and you will feel a magnificent change in terms of uh, your intelligence in terms of your presence of mind and suddenly you may not notice anything when you're trying to notice it you know because when you try to notice it again the conscious mind is there and when you read something and you're trying to see whether my intelligence has improved that is a uh, that is a distraction itself right but all of a sudden when you are completely engrossed in some work you will suddenly realize that I could reach this decision much faster I could understand this concept much faster I could recall something much faster so um, remove these distractions let your subconscious mind uh, be more what should I say prominent more dominant when it comes to your thinking and your entire life will change intelligence is just the beginning a lot can change and we'll be talking about it in the future so thank you so much uh, uh, this is uh, one of my favorite topics to talk about I hope that you understand uh, what I have uh, tried to convey if not please leave a comment uh, or you can communicate with me on my Facebook page as a lot of people have been doing and uh, subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting many more videos in the future and uh, thank you so much for all your positive feedback that you've uh, given in my in the comments here on YouTube videos and also on the Facebook page. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video that helps the channel I believe. And um, well, thank you so much and all the best. Bye bye.